Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a very dear recipe which I have over time developed through trial and error. As I shared in my previous uh, video, it is a recipe that inspired me into beekeeping because our daughter had uh, health issues. And this recipe is so easy and it is so beneficial. It has only three ingredients which are superfoods. So let's get started. So the ingredients are lemon, so you can use lemons or lime, whatever is at your disposal. Then you need ginger. I thought I had some pretty good ones, but I have oh, one of my products that I just launched, which is wild honey. So the first thing is to peel the ginger, which is totally optional because I've not come across anywhere where they see that the skin of ginger is harmful. So you can do that easily by using a spoon. Actually, that's a hack. So, and it makes it so easy, unlike using a knife. So, peeling with a spoon makes it quite easy. You can see the skin is just coming out so easily. So, that is done. After peeling your ginger, the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you have water that is almost at boiling point because you need to put the ginger in the water. So, you need uh, to either crush it or grate the ginger. So, I like grating mine. Then, you will grate your ginger into the water or you can crush your ginger and add it to the water, whichever is easier for you. So, after adding the ginger into the water, you need to give it at least a minute to boil vigorously because uh, you need it to extract all the nutrients and then again i believe that ginger is one of the ingredients that does not lose its nutrients easily so it's okay it's okay for it to boil the more it boils the more flavors the more nutrients are released to the water and that's all that you want this aroma is important but it's equally important to cover it so that you don't lose it and i like it to cook to boil for at least two minutes so in one minute the fragrances are uh, the nutrients are released into the water so we are going to switch off the source of heat and then we're gonna put and then it will remain here for at least five minutes so that the infusion process can take place so as our ginger water infuses we are going to move to the next step which is to uh, squeeze the lemon juice and prepare it. So this is so simple. Okay, they tell me that <laughs> for the lemon to release all the juices, you need to <laughs> you need to give it a massage. I'm not sure how true that is, but I'm gonna try it and then we'll see how that goes. So, so just cut the lemon into half, and then I have this amazing equipment or tree in my kitchen which. Actually, I never thought it can help anyone, but I just found out that it's so beneficial and it makes your work so easy. So, just going to squeeze the juice. So, all the seeds remain on top and then the lemon juice goes down to the cup. That's amazing. So, I'll be doing two cups. So, I'll need two lemons for that. Lemon is great because it is a great detox. It is is rich in vitamin C which is great for your body but I remember growing up my mom would not allow you to take lemons there was this myth that when you eat lemons you become slim and we were already slim so we had no way to lose so there you go you have the lemon juice with you so now we are going to sieve our ginger water which we had allowed to sit a bit that it can infuse. I also believe the step is very important because you don't want to add lemon and honey into very hot water. I think it doesn't work very well. So let's see the ginger water. Ginger water. Ginger freshens your house. Actually, when I was when you boil water in the morning, it keeps your house kitchen fresh. The first thing is just to pour the ginger water into the cup. So I'm just going to pour it uh, slightly half because I need to have some space for the lemon juice and for the honey and for stirring. So that should be enough. Then the next thing to add is lemon juice. 
so just a bit you should also get Eva homemade honey <laughs> So why not add just some mint for garnish? So, and also mint is a herb, which makes it great, a great combination. So, and this is totally optional. So it's done. So let me just give it a taste. It's so amazing. Actually, as you take the drink, it cleans out your throat opens up the nose the sinuses if you're suffering from that and it is so so great mm. so in conclusion let me say that this is an amazing a drink to start your day with and make it a routine drink and it is so so amazing you love it actually it helps boost your immunity thank you so much for watching be sure to try it out and let me know how it goes.